This will be a short video demo of bandwidth reservation, which is a key feature of the audio video bridging protocol, or AVB for short. I'm going to demonstrate how a switch handles the bandwidth utilization when regular network traffic is transmitted alongside the real-time AVB audio streams over the same trunk connection. To start with, we have two gigabit extreme switches connected together via a trunk linked by port 24. Both of these switches are AVB enabled, and in this case, the trunk speed is one gigabit per second. Two computers are also connected to on port one of each switch. When a file is copied from computer one to computer two, data flows over the trunk connection. Next, we have two Tessera AVB devices connected to port two of each switch. The Tessera devices have been configured to transmit 420 audio channels through eight AVB streams in one direction, using approximately 690 megabits of bandwidth. The AVB streams and the data transfer between the two computers is going to pass over the trunk at the same time. I'm going to start a transfer of some large files from computer one to computer two. We can see the transmission speed is around 112 megabytes per second, which equals about 900 megabits per second. Considering there's a data overhead not included in this, we can conclude that the full gigabit trunk connection is now saturated. Let's go into one of the switches and take a look at what's happening on the trunk connection. Here we can see that no bandwidth has been reserved yet. We see this by querying the switch for the MSRP streams. MSRP stands for Multiple Streams Reservation Protocol, which is essentially how an AVB-enabled switch reserves and assigns the bandwidth for the AVB data. At this point, if we plug in the AVB cable, our AVB connection becomes active. We notice that there's a decrease in the non-AVB data speed. This is because the bandwidth is now being reserved and prioritized for AVB traffic. We can also verify by listening that the AVB stream is being successfully passed through. Using the show MSRP streams command again, the switch now shows us a list of AVB streams. In this particular case, nearly 69% of the trunk's bandwidth has been reserved for the eight AVB streams, which comprise the 420 audio channels. Bear in mind, the switch will only allow up to 75% of network bandwidth for AVB, leaving 25% for other traffic. This percentage of bandwidth reservation can be tailored to suit the network requirements, of course. In our case, if more than 75% of the switch bandwidth is exceeded for AVB traffic, any additional streams will be denied, ensuring non-AVB traffic is still able to pass. Once the AVB connection is removed, the audio stops and the data transmission quickly returns to normal speed. So once the AVB traffic is no longer there, the reserved bandwidth is automatically freed and available to the network for regular traffic again. To conclude, an AVB-capable network automatically reserves and prioritizes the bandwidth for AVB streams, regardless of how much bandwidth is taken up by other data traffic. This guarantees smooth audio transmission and playback when there's AVB talkers and listeners on the network and the fast data transfer when there's not. This is due to the smart, self-managing nature of the AVB network. Thank you for watching.